Okay, in this video we're going to talk about a general theorem that regards series solutions to second order differential equations. So the second order differential equation that we're looking at is of the following form. So we have P naught x y double prime plus P one x y prime um, plus P two of x y equals zero. So it's a linear um, second order homogeneous differential equation, but we do not have constant coefficients. But what we do assume um, is that all of these are polynomials. So P0, P1, and P2 are polynomials. <clears throat> so that makes it... Um, that makes it a little nicer than if they're arbitrary functions. So uh, I want to like introduce some terminology, and the terminology is as follows. So the first definition will be if p naught of x naught is not equal to zero, then x naught is called an ordinary point point. For this differential equation. So it's an ordinary point of this differential equation. And so the second part of the definition is, well, what if x naught is equal to zero? And so if uh, p of x naught is equal to zero, then x naught is called a singular point. So as we look for series solutions to this type of differential equation, we're going to need to do this in uh, two major cases. One where we do our series expansion around an ordinary point, and another where we um, consider series expansions near a singular point. Okay, so I'll clean up the board, and then we're going to state the theorem that uh, talks about solutions to such a differential equation. Okay, so we set up uh, the notion of a singular point and an ordinary point, sometimes called a regular point. Um, and now we have this following general theorem, which we will not prove. So we want to suppose that P0, P1, and P2 are polynomials with no common factors. So if they do have common factors, we could just divide that out. And P0 of X0 is not equal to zero. In other words, X0 is an ordinary point and rho is the distance from x naught to the nearest zero of p naught. Then every solution of this differential equation, so p naught y double prime plus p one y prime plus two p two y, can be represented by a power series based at x zero. And furthermore, we know that the interval of convergence of this power series contains this open interval x naught minus rho, x naught plus rho, where again, recall that rho is the distance from x naught to the nearest zero of p naught. So let's look at some examples real quick. So this uh, first example is Aries differential equation. Um, and that goes as follows. So y double prime minus x times y equals zero. So if we notice here, um, all the parts of the setup are met um, and there are no singular points. So every point is a regular point. In fact, we could just say x equals zero is um, and an ordinary point. So we could expand our solution about x equals zero. And furthermore, um, the solution will converge in the interval minus infinity to infinity. Because again, there are no singular points, there are no zeros of this constant polynomial one, which tells us that uh, this number rho must be infinity. Okay, so let's look at another one real quick. So let's say uh, maybe this, um, one plus three x squared y double prime plus x y prime plus three y equals zero. 
Okay, good. So notice that again, x equals zero is ordinary. And now we want to find the distance from zero to the closest root of this polynomial one plus three x cubed. And so now also notice that one plus three x cubed equals zero when x equals plus minus i times one over root three. So notice we get a complex number there, or an imaginary number, um, but we don't get a real number. But still, we have to take rho to be the distance from 0 to this plus minus i um, over root 3. So that tells us that um, we know we are guaranteed to have convergence of our solution on the interval minus 1 over root 3 to plus 1 over root 3 because the distance from 0 to i over root 3 is 1 over root 3, if you think about that in the complex plane. Okay, good. So this is the end of the video. So um, in the next video, we're going to solve Aries differential equation, and then in the following video, we're going to solve um, a differential equation of this form.